All right, guys, so I have to say it finally happened. It finally happened. Um, Trump finally broke me. And his transition is complete from the fake populist guy in 2016 to just, hey, man, I'm George W. Bush and Dick Cheney with bronzer on my face and yellow dye in my hair, right? The transition is over. It is done. Nobody has ever been more thoroughly an establishment Republican mixed with even higher levels of authoritarianism, right? That's what Donald Trump is. So he comes out at Bedminster, New Jersey at his golf course and does a sort of a campaign event here, a press conference here. By the way, why is he doing that? Look, there's a lot of speculation that, first of all, he owns a lot of different airports across the country, a lot of money. So he's stiffing the airports. But beyond that, he's also stiffed the indoor venues from his previous campaigns. That's why he was having a lot of these rally events outdoors. But remember, he got shot at when he was outdoors. So now he's scared to do them outdoors. So now he's got to go back indoors. But it's kind of hard to do when you owe all these venues tens of thousands of dollars and he doesn't want to pay it. So, you know, his campaign is kind of between a rock and a hard place, right? Kind of between a rock and a hard place. And so what he's doing instead now is having a press conference at his fucking golf course in Bedminster, New Jersey. This is how he's trying to get the cameras on him. By the way, Connell and Tim Waltz are absolutely outworking Trump now. They're out there doing way more rallies, visiting way more states. Honestly, the Trump 2024 campaign really has shades of Hillary 2016 at this point. Remember that video he tweeted of him and Elon Musk, an AI video of them like dancing together? That's exactly like what fucking Madonna tweeted in 2016, showing her and Hillary dancing in a video. Like, they are circling the fucking drain, bro. Now, uh, Trump's go-to move is just calling Kamala a communist and tweeting memes where she has the flag of the Soviet Union. You are washed. This is fucking Celtics shack type shit right here. So anyway, he comes out. Listen to the thing he says when talking about Kamala. And he brings up health care. Prepare yourself. Prepare yourself. It's a communist system. You're going to be thrown into a system where everybody gets health care. You're all going to be thrown into a communist system. It's a communist system. You're going to be thrown into a system where everybody gets health care. He's fear mongering about Americans getting health care. You're going to be thrown into a system where everybody gets health care. Disgusting. Gross. Unbelievably bad. Dude. Dude. Okay, let's just, let's rewind. This isn't that long ago. 2016 was not that long ago. This isn't even a decade ago. Listen to what Trump said back then. Ready? This is Trump on 60 Minutes in 2016. Here's what he said about health care back then. Everybody's got to be covered. This is an unrepublican thing for me to say. Universal health care. I am going to take care of everybody. I'm, I don't care if it costs me votes or not. He also goes on to say when pushed, the government's going to pay for it. The government's going to pay for it. See, back in 2016, he at least had the sense to know, I have to at least pretend to be economically populist. I have to pretend like I'm going to center the American middle class, working families. Now, that is gone, gone, gone. He's just a, a angry ball of grievance and hatred. That's what he is. So now... All he's concerned about is political persecution. They're coming after me wrongly. This is unfair. Me, me, me. We played his ad from the other day that he posted on Twitter where the whole thing is lawfare, witch hunt, unfair persecution. In a whole two minute and 30 second ad, he didn't mention policy. He didn't mention wages. He didn't mention health care. And then now, in a casual press conference, it's going to be horrible. It's going to be communism. She's bringing in communism. People are going to have health care. Oh, my God. Total 180 in terms of rhetoric. By the way, to be clear, on policy, he was always the same. He was always a dyed-in-the-wool right-winger on policy. But in terms of rhetoric, he used to at least play the game where he'd be like, I'm going to give you good things. I'm for good things. I'm against bad things. Now he's like, I'm for the bad things. Good things are actually bad. Good thing. You're going to have health care. Isn't that disgusting? Isn't that unbelievable? Oh my God, this finally broke me. Of all the comments, you would think. Like, remember when he said uh, he's going to suspend the Constitution to get himself back in power, terminate the Constitution to get himself back in power. Remember when he said he was going to execute drug dealers and he's going to have war with Mexico in his second term. He's actively saying, I want war with Mexico while also pretending to run as the anti-war guy. All those comments, I was, I was getting there, but this is the one that finally fucking broke me. 
This is the one that finally broke me. Fear-mongering about people getting health care. And I'm sure he knows nothing about the state of our current health care system. We rank, according to the Commonwealth Fund, they do a study on this every few years, we rank 11th out of 11 for the modern industrial developed nations when it comes to our health care system. There's been a number of studies that have come out and said, if you do Medicare for all single payer, you save trillions of dollars and you cover everybody. Why? Because all you're doing is getting rid of the mafia, gangster-like, parasitic middleman that steals your money, gets in between you and your doctor. That's what a health insurance company is. Single payers, there's one single insurer, it's the government. It would be more effective, it would be more efficient, everybody would be covered. But effectively what he's doing here is defending the status quo. Remember, this is the guy who tried to overthrow Obamacare, tried to replace it with a plan that pulled it like 13%. His own health care plan pulled it like 13%. Couldn't get Obamacare through because John McCain had a personal grudge with Trump, so he gave it the thumbs down and Obamacare stayed in place. But this is all that's left. He's a husk of a man. He's a husk of his former self, bro. One more time. I got to listen to it one more time. Give it to me again. You're not going to be allowed. You're all going to be thrown into a communist system. It's a communist system. You're going to be thrown into a system where everybody gets health care. Keep this video in mind, among with like 17,000 other things, when there are idiots out there who try to pretend like Trump is actually to the left of Kamala Harris. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? He's just, he is what he is. He's a narcissistic, psychopathic, a uh, God complex standard establishment Republican in terms of his policy beliefs. But take all those things and then add on top of it extreme authoritarianism. Like the other week when he praised Xi Jinping because, quote, he rules with an iron fist. He used iron fist like it was positive. That's why he says positive things about Kim Jong un all the time, too. That's what he is. Nobody's going to super serve industry and billionaires better than him. You think he's going to buck health insurance companies or big pharma? Of course fucking not. Of course. You think he's going to buck his billionaire donors? Miriam Adelson's given him $100 million, so Trump will approve total annexation of the West Bank by Israel. Nobody has been a bigger cuck to their donors in human history. And however bad it was the first time, it's going to be even worse the second time. God, even, even other establishment Republicans would say something like, look, we all want universal health care. It's just a matter of how we get there. Right? It's just a matter of, are we going to do it with the free market, or are we going to do it with the government controls? This is the type of stuff a standard establishment Republicans would say. But it would, there would at least be this thing of like, well, of course, everybody having health care is good. Him, now he's acting like that's a bad thing. Everybody's going to have health care. It's going to be disgusting. Oh, my God. He has lost the magic so hard. Look, I'll, I'll say it. We are now trending towards a Kamala landslide victory. He's totally lost his footing. He's totally lost his mind. Uh, he has no idea what strategy to use. That's why he's out there questioning Kamala Harris's race, calling her low IQ, obsessing over crowd sizes, because there is no core to this man. There is no guiding principle. It's just fling mud and hope something sticks. And when you are just positioning yourself as I am adversarial to this person, well, then guess what? When she comes out and says, I'm going to ban price gouging, you're going to say, price gouging is actually good. It's actually a good thing. Have you thought of that? Price gouging is good. This is what happens. If you're just, if your whole being is just, I'm the opposite of whatever this person is. When they say something good, you have to say, I'm against the good thing. When they start talking about free, uh, or excuse me, paid time off. When they start talking about uh, free school meals for kids, we all know what Trump's going to do. This is socialism. This is communism. Can you believe feeding the kids? Feeding the kids is terrible. Why would you want to feed the kids? Could you believe giving people 12 weeks paid time off? That's horrible. Don't you? People should have to go to work. If you go to work, that's where you're productive. I don't know why you'd want to have no time. I don't know why you'd want time off. This is what's going to happen. And this is the best example of it I've ever seen. And all she said was, let's expand the Affordable Care Act, right? Let's do more subsidies to the Affordable Care Act. That's all she said on health care. And he's like, no, that's horrible. Isn't it disgusting? They're going to give everybody health care. The way you respond to this, be like, yes, we want to give everybody health care. That's exactly what we want to do. Thank you, Don. Oh, my God. He's walking into buzzsaw after buzzsaw, and I'm here for it. Hey, y'all, do me a favor and like and subscribe. It helps out big time in the algorithm. Click the bell as well for notifications when videos drop, and watch that video on screen right now. You know you want to.